Kevin, 16-point third quarter there. Nice little run you guys made. Tell us about what was going on there. Uh, yeah, oh, my bad. Yeah, we was uh, down. So, I mean, I just want to make sure that uh, I try to do as best as I can to help my team come back, uh, kind of heat up a little bit. So it was it was a good feeling. Uh, my, my teammates did a great job finding me. Uh, some of them hit some big shots in the third quarter too to, to bring us back. So I think collectively it was it was, it was a good team comeback, and uh, unfortunately we couldn't get the win. You get psyched up for these summer league games. Do you get pretty pumped up even though they are summer league games? I mean, yeah. I mean, I just want to come out here and just trying to showcase what I've been working on this whole summer. So I mean, I want to come out and work with these guys for a whole week. Uh, so I just want to make sure we come out every game and just play as hard as we can. I mean, we got a great crowd tonight. The Lakers always bring good crowds, so we had a got a good crowd tonight. So it was good uh, to come out and, and go against them. Was it good to, I mean, from the three-point line, you had struggled a little bit. Was it nice to finally be sinking a lot of them? Oh, yeah. It, it felt good. Uh, I've been struggling a little bit, but tonight I think I was five for seven. So, I mean, I thought I shot pretty well tonight. I uh, got some extra shots up today at walkthrough. So, I mean, I'm just going to keep shooting. Uh, so I'm telling the whole team, I mean, collectively we're not really shooting the ball that well, but we just got to keep shooting. We were a great shooting team, so they're going to fall eventually. You the college three-point line in the summer league or the NBA three-point line, is there a little adjustment? Or? Yeah, it is a little bit further back, so you got a little bit more legs. I mean, most rookies, when they come in, they're kind of short on the three-point shots because it's a little bit further back. But once you kind of adjust to it, I mean, you'll be fine. So, I mean, there's a lot of great great rookies that are shooting the ball really well. So, I mean, they kind of adjust it well. But I think once you all adjust, we're pretty good. Do you think this is going to be a big part of your arsenal going forward, the three-point shot? I mean, yeah, that's something I do really well. So, I mean, that's something that the coaches really like me to do, uh, be able to knock down that shot. And then when they close out, be able to go past people. So, I just want to make sure that I just kind of show my full arsenal uh, in the summer league and get ready for the season. How's defense been this week compared to college? I mean, yeah, I think uh, this summer league, I think we, as a team, we're playing really good defense. I mean, tonight we kind of struggled a little bit in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter when they made their little run. But, I mean, college is a little bit different with three seconds and stuff like that. So it's a little bit easier to defend more and, and get past people on an NBA level. Do you think teams are trying to uh, take more away from you now? Or is there more? Is there any adjustments they've been making now that you're lining it up? Oh, yeah, Coach, uh, Coach Miles did a great job tonight uh, defending me. I mean, they kind of made passes really hard for me. Um, pick and rolls, they was really switching the lives, so I really couldn't get past people. So they're real physical. I mean, they did a good scouting report, uh, but I think that it's going to get harder moving forward. I mean, a lot of teams are going to going to see uh, how, we're, how our offense is and try and take me away from the top of the key getting that pass. So we're really looking forward to it, uh, moving on, and get ready to practice and see how we can adjust. Do you wonder how these type of numbers are going to translate for preseason? And like, like Scott Perry said, he's very impressed, but, you know, there's different guys you'll be facing oh, yeah. in October. I mean, do you wonder... How much this will translate to? Oh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 like people say, this is summer league. I mean, it's going to be hard to do this during the season. Like the coach Mark just told us in the locker room, it's hard to be in the NBA. So, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm playing well right now. I hope I can carry it over. But like you said, there's different players, different systems. You're going against different people. So it's going to be a little bit tougher during the season. But I'm just going to keep staying in the gym, keep getting better every single day with my teammates, learn from the older guys, the veterans, and just hope I can keep, keep playing well uh, come the season. Speaking of those older guys, Tim Hardaway was saying it was really hard for him not to be on the floor playing with you, that he was excited to get out there and run. What do you think about how your game is going to click with his? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a great shooting guard. I mean, uh, he, I talk to him a lot. He gives me a lot of tips. He's just a great guy to talk to. I mean, he gives me a lot of things that I could work on, some things. Uh, he talked to me a little bit during the game on the sideline, some tips and a little bit. So it's going to be fun to finally get to get the work out of him, get the practice, and get ready for the season because I think we'll go really well together. What's the best tip he gave you tonight? I mean, he just told me to stay aggressive. I mean, he knows that they're really trying to – They're in the, in the fourth quarter, it's really pressing up on me on the ball. So he was just make sure just use your body, your lower body. So just little tips like that he was saying to me in my ear on the sideline. Somebody was saying that you've been almost at every game here, that you constantly watch the other games too. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Every, every, unfortunately, we were the last game day, so I couldn't watch no games. But every time we play early, I always come back and watch all the games. I mean, I just, I just love watching basketball. I mean, I think you can learn from watching other people play. I got a lot of friends that play on the team. So, I mean, that's just my natural ability. Like, it's kind of who I am. I like to watch college basketball, high school, don't matter what it is. So every time I play early, I always come back, go shower in my room, and come back and watch games. About a couple of your teammates, man, Trier and Robinson. Yeah, Trier, I mean, he, tonight he played great. I think he was really aggressive tonight with Frank out uh, with his injury. So I think tonight he had to be a little bit more aggressive, and I think he gave us a little spark. And, you know, Mitchell, he, he's working. I mean, I think uh, he's really good defensively. Uh, he got to stay out of foul trouble, but defensively, man, he, he moves his feet well. I mean, he's blocking shots. I mean, you see he's swatting at everything. So he's setting good pitch, rolling to the basket. He's just an athletic uh, type of person. So. 
mean, we got some good rookies on, keep working, uh, stay in the gym, learn from a lot from the coaches, and just move on. Was it different not having Frank uh, as the floor general? Uh, uh, yeah, it was a little bit different. I mean, Frank is a little bit, he had been in the situation. Uh, he could have helped us in that fourth quarter. Somebody that could have uh, led us, and when it was going down a little bit, could have stepped us up. And then defensively, you know, Frank is one of the best defenders probably here. So, I mean, he, he would have helped a lot. Uh, so, I mean, just his knowledge and him being in this situation before could have helped us in the fourth.